Section 95 by Sampayana said the heroic sons of Pandu accompanied by their followers proceeding from place to place at last arrived at Naimisha O king reaching the Gomati the Pandavas bathed in the sacred Tirtha of that stream and having performed their ablutions there they gave away O Bharata both kind and bald and repeatedly offering oblations of water o bharata to the gods the pitris and the brahmanas in the tirthas called kanya ashwa and go and staying has directed him kalakoti and the vishaprastha hills the kauravas then o king reached vahuda and performed their ablution in that stream proceeding next o lord of earth to the sacrificial region of the gods known by the name prayaga they bathed in the confluence of ganga and yamuna and residing there practiced ascetic penances of great merit and the pandavas of truthful promises bathing in the tirtha cleansed themselves of every sin the sons of pandu then walking after bharata res accompanied by those brahmanas proceeded to the tirtha called vedi sacred to the creator and adored by the ascetics residing there for some time and gratifying the brahmanas with the fruit and roots of the wilderness and clarified butter those heroes began to practice ascetic penances of great merit they then proceeded to Mahidara consecrated by that virtuous royal sage Gaya of unrivaled splendor in that region he is the hill named Gaya Sira as well as a delightful river called Mahanadi with fine banks graced by bushes of canes on that celestial hill of holy peaks is a sacred tirtha called Brahmasara which he is much adored by ascetics there on the banks of that lake had dwelt of your the eternal god himself of justice and it was thither that the illustrious rishi agastya had repaired to behold that deity it was from that lake that all the rivers take their rise and there in that tirtha mahadeva the builder of the pinaka is present for hai arriving at that spot the heroic sons of pandu practiced the vow that is known by the name of chaturmasya according to all the rites and ordinances of the great sacrifice called rishi yojna it is there that the mighty tree called the eternal bhanian stands any sacrifice performed there produces merit that is eternal in that sacrificial platform of the gods producing eternal merit the pandavas began to fast with concentrated souls and there came on to them brahmanas by hundreds endued with wealth of ascetism and those brahmanas also all performed the chaturmasya sacrifice according to the rites inculcated by the rishis and there in that tirtha those brahmanas old in knowledge and ascetic merit and fully versed in the vedas that constituted the court of the illustrious sons of pandu talked in their presence upon various subject of sacred import and it was in that place that the learned vow of observing and sacred shamata leading besides a life of celibacy spake on to them o king of gaya the son of amurtaraya and shamata said gaya the son of amurtaraya was one of the foremost of royal sages listen to me o bharata as i recite his meritorious deeds it was here o king that gaya had performed many sacrifices distinguished by the enormous quantities of food that were distributed 
and the profuse gifts that were given away unto brahmanas those sacrifices o king were distinguished by mountains in hundreds and thousands of cooked rice lakes of clarified butter and rivers of curds in many hundreds and streams of richly dressed curries in thousands day after day were those got ready and distributed amongst all comers while over and above this brahmanas and others o king received food that was clean and pure during the conclusion also of every sacrifice when gifts were dedicated to the brahmanas the chanting of the vedas reached the heavens and so loud indeed was the sound of the vedic mantras that nothing else o bharata could be heard there the sacred sounds o king filled the earth the points of the horizon the sky and heaven itself even these were the wonders that persons noticed on those occasions and gratified with the excellent viands and drinks that the hilarious gaya provided men who bull of the bharatares went about singing these verses in gaya's great sacrifice who is there today amongst creatures that still desireth to eat there are yet 25 mountains of food there after all have been fed what the royal sage gaya of immense splendor hath achieved in his sacrifice was never achieved by men before nor will be any in future the gods have been so surfied by gaya with clarified butter that they are not able to take anything that anybody else may offer as sand cranes on earth as stars in the firmament as drops showered by rain charged clouds cannot ever be counted by anybody so can none count the gifts in gaya's sacrifice o son of the kurures many times did king gaya perform sacrifices of this description here by the side of this brahmasara us handeth the 95th section in the tirtha yatra parva of the vana parva